Assam Listen is a state in northeast India, situated south of the eastern Himalayas along the Brahmaputra and Barak River valleys. Assam covers an area of 78,438 square kilometers (30,285 square miles). The state is bordered by Bhutan and the state of Arunachal Pradesh to the north, Nagaland and Manipur to the east, Meghalaya, Tripura, Mizoram and Bangladesh to the south, and West Bengal to the west via the Siliguri Corridor, a 22 kilometers (14 miles) strip of land that connects the state to the rest of India. The indigenous people traditionally include ethnic groups like Thai Ahom people, Thai Kamthi people, Thai Turing people, Thai Aitone people, Assamese Brahmins including Ganaks, Koch Rajabangshi, Sanawal Kacharis, Raba, Chutias, Kalidas, Bengali people, Kio, Kaibarta, Bodo people, Tiwa, Serenia Kachari, Mek Kachari, Thengal Kacharis, Serenia Kacharis, Thai Fake, and other Thai groups, indigenous ethnic groups of other neighboring northeast states, Dioras, Doms, Nadials, Assamese Muslims, particularly Goria, Moria, Deshi communities, Assamese Sikhs, and Assamese Christians speaking Assamese or any other tribal dialect of Assam as their mother tongue. Assam is known for Assam tea and Assam silk. The state has conserved the one-horned Indian rhinoceros from near extinction, along with the wild water buffalo, pygmy hog, tiger and various species of Asiatic birds, and provides one of the last wild habitats for the Asian elephant. The Assamese economy is aided by wildlife tourism to Kaziranga National Park and Manas National Park, which are World Heritage Sites. Sal tree forests are found in the state which, as a result of abundant rainfall, look green all year round. Assam receives more rainfall than most parts of India, this rain feeds the Brahmaputra River, whose tributaries and oxbow lakes provide the region with a hydro-geomorphic environment. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The precise etymology of modern anglicized word, Assam, is ambiguous. In the classical period and up to the 12th century the region east of the Karatoya River, largely congruent to present-day Assam, was called Kamarupa, and alternatively, Pragjotisha. In medieval times the Mughals used Asham Eastern Assam and Kamrup Western Assam, and during British colonialism, the English used Assam. Though many authors have associated the name with the 13th century Shan invaders the precise origin of the name is not clear. It was suggested by some that the Sanskrit word Asama unequaled, peerless, etc. was the root, which has been rejected by Kakati, and more recent authors have concurred that it is a latter-day Sanskritization of a native name. Among possible origins are Thai and Bodo History Prehistory Assam and adjoining regions have evidences of human settlements from all the periods of the Stone Ages. The hills at the height of 1,500 to 2,000 feet (460 to 615 meters) were popular habitats, probably due to availability of exposed dolerite basalt, useful for toolmaking. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Legendary. According to a late text, Kalika Purana c. 9th-10th century AD, the earliest ruler of Assam was Maharanga Danav of the Daneva dynasty, which was removed by Naraka who established the Naraka dynasty. The last of these rulers, also Naraka, was slain by Krishna. Naraka's son Bhagadatta became the king, who it is mentioned in the Mahabharata fought for the Kauravas in the Battle of Kurukshetra with an army of Karatas, Chinas and dwellers of the eastern coast. At the same time towards east in central Assam, Asura kingdom was ruled by indigenous line of kings of Mariachi dynasty. <inaudible> Ancient Samudragupta's 4th century Allahabad pillar inscription mentions Kamarupa Western Assam and Devaka central Assam as frontier kingdoms of the Gupta Empire. 
Devaka was later absorbed by Kamarupa, which grew into a large kingdom that spanned from Karatoya River to near present Sadia and covered the entire Brahmaputra Valley, North Bengal, parts of Bangladesh, and, at times, Purnia and parts of West Bengal. The kingdom was ruled by three dynasties the Varmanas, c. 350-650 CE, the Malechcha dynasty, c. 900 CE, and the Kamarupa Palas, c. 900 CE, from their capitals in in present-day Guwahati Tezpur and North Ghati Durjaya, respectively. All three dynasties claimed descent from Narakasura. In the reign of the Varman king, Bhaskarvarman c. 600-650 AD, the Chinese traveller Xuanzang visited the region and recorded his travels. Later, after weakening and disintegration after the Kamarupa Palace, the Kamarupa tradition was extended to c. 1255 AD by the lunar I c. 1120-1185 AD and lunar II c. 1155-1255 AD dynasties. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Medieval. Three later dynasties were the Ahoms, the Chutia, and the Kok. The Ahams, a Thai group, ruled Upper Assam the Shans built their kingdom and consolidated their power in eastern Assam with the modern town of Sibsagar as their capital. Until the early 1500s, the Ahams ruled a small kingdom in Sibsagar district and suddenly expanded during King Suhungmung's rule taking advantage of weakening rule of Chutia and Dimasa kingdoms. By 1681, the whole track down to the border of the modern district of Golpara came permanently under their sway. Ahams ruled for nearly 600 years 1228 to 1826 AD with major expansions in the early 16th century at the cost of Chutia and Dimasa Kachari kingdoms. Since c. the 13th century AD, the nerve center of Ahom polity was Upper Assam, the kingdom was gradually extended to the Karatoya River in the 17th or 18th century. It was at its zenith during the reign of Sukrungfa or Swargodeu Rudra Sinha c. 1696-1714 AD. The Chutia rulers 1187-1673 AD, a Bodo Kachari group by origin, held the regions on both the banks of Brahmaputra with its domain in the area eastwards from Visvanat north bank and Buradayang south bank, in Upper Assam and in the state of Arunachal Pradesh. It was partially annexed in the early 1500s by the Ahams, finally getting absorbed in 1673 AD. The rivalry between the Chutias and Ahams for the supremacy of eastern Assam led to a series of battles between them from the early 16th century until the start of the 17th century, which saw great loss of men and money. The Kok, another Bodo Kachari dynasty, established sovereignty in c. 1510 AD. The Koch kingdom in western Assam and present North Bengal was at its zenith in the early reign of Nara Narayan c. 1540 to 1587 AD. It split into two in c. 1581 AD, the western part as a Mughal vassal and the eastern as an Ahom satellite state. Later, in 1682, Koch Haho was entirely annexed by the Ahams. Among other dynasties, the Dimasa Kacharis ruled from Dihau River to central and southern Assam and had their capital at Dimapur. With expansion of Ahom Kingdom, by the early 17th century, the Chutia areas were annexed and since c. 1536 AD the Kacharis remained only in Kachar and North Kachar, and more as an Ahom ally than a competing force. Despite numerous invasions, mostly by the Muslim rulers, no Western power ruled Assam until the arrival of the British. Though the Mughals made 17 attempts to invade, they were never successful. The most successful invader Mir Jumla, a governor of Aurangzeb, briefly occupied Gargan c. 1662-63 AD, the then capital, but found it difficult to prevent guerrilla attacks on his forces, forcing them to leave. The decisive victory of the Assamese led by General Lachit Borfukan on the Mughals, then under command of Raja Ram Singha, at Saraghat in 1671 almost ended Mughal ambitions in this region. The Mughals were finally expelled from Lower Assam during the reign of Gadidhar Singha in 1682 AD. <laughs> Colonial era The discovery of Camellia sinensis in 1834 in Assam was followed by testing in 1836–37 in London. 
The British allowed companies to rent land from 1839 onwards. Thereafter tea plantations mushroomed in eastern Assam, where the soil and the climate were most suitable. Problems with the imported laborers from China and hostility from native Assamese resulted in the migration of forced laborers from central and eastern parts of India. After initial trial and error with planting the Chinese and the Assamese Chinese hybrid varieties, the planters later accepted the local Camellia Assamica as the most suitable variety for Assam. By the 1850s, the industry started seeing some profits. The industry saw initial growth, when in 1861, investors were allowed to own land in Assam and it saw substantial progress with invention of new technologies and machinery for preparing processed tea during the 1870s. Despite the commercial success, tea laborers continued to be exploited, working and living under poor conditions. Fearful of greater government interference, the tea growers formed the Indian Tea Association in 1888 to lobby to retain the status quo. The organization was successful in this, but even after India's independence, conditions of the laborers have improved very little. In the later part of the 18th century, religious tensions and atrocities by the nobles led to the Moamoria Rebellion, 1769 to 1805, resulting in tremendous casualties of lives and property. The rebellion was suppressed, but the kingdom was severely weakened by the civil war. Political rivalry between Prime Minister Purnananda Burhagohane and Badan Chandra Borfukan, the AHOM Viceroy of Western Assam, led to an invitation to the Burmese by the latter, in turn leading to three successive Burmese invasions of Assam. The reigning monarch Chandrakanda Singha tried to check the Burmese invaders but he was defeated after fierce resistance. A reign of terror was unleashed by the Burmese on the Assamese people, who fled to neighbouring kingdoms and British ruled Bengal. The Burmese reached the East India Company's borders, and the First Anglo-Burmese War ensued in 1824. The war ended under the Treaty of Yandabo in 1826, with the company taking control of Western Assam and installing Parandar Singha as King of Upper Assam in 1833. The arrangement lasted till 1838 and thereafter the British gradually annexed the entire region. Initially Assam was made a part of the Bengal Presidency, then in 1906 it was made a part of Eastern Bengal and Assam Province, and in 1912 it was reconstituted into a Chief Commissioner's Province. In 1913, a Legislative Council and, in 1937, the Assam Legislative Assembly, were formed in Shillong, the erstwhile capital of the region. The British tea planters imported labour from central India adding to the demographic canvas. The Assam Territory was first separated from Bengal in 1874 as the Northeast Frontier Non-Regulation Province, also known as the Assam Chief Commissionership. It was incorporated into the new province of Eastern Bengal and Assam in 1905 after the partition of Bengal 1905 and re-established in 1912 as Assam province. After a few initially unsuccessful attempts to gain independence for Assam during the 1850s, anti-colonial Assamese joined and actively supported the Indian National Congress against the British from the early 20th century, with Gopinath Bordoloi emerging as the preeminent nationalist leader in the Assam Congress. Bordeloy's major political rival in this time was Sir Saidullah, who was representing the Muslim League, and had the backing of the influential Muslim cleric Maulana Basani. The Assam Postage Circle was established by 1873 under the headship of the Deputy Postmaster General. At the turn of the 20th century, British India consisted of eight provinces that were administered either by a governor or a lieutenant governor. Assam Province was one among major eight provinces of British India. The table below shows the major original provinces during British India covering the Assam province under the administrative office of the Chief Commissioner. The following table lists their areas and populations. It does not include those of the dependent native states. With the partition of India in 1947, Assam became a constituent state of India. The Silhet district of Assam excluding the Karamganj subdivision was given up to East Pakistan, which later became Bangladesh. Topic. Modern history The Government of India, which has the unilateral powers to change the borders of a state, divided Assam into several states beginning in 1970 within the borders of what was then Assam. In 1963, the Naga Hills district became the 16th state of India under the name of Nagaland. Part of Tuansang was added to Nagaland. 
In 1970, in response to the demands of the Khasi, Jainsha and Garo people of the Meghalaya Plateau, the districts embracing the Khasi Hills, Jainsha Hills, and Garo Hills were formed into an autonomous state within Assam. In 1972 this became a separate state under the name of Meghalaya. In 1972, Arunachal Pradesh, the Northeast Frontier Agency, and Mizoram from the Mizo Hills in the south were separated from Assam as union territories. Both became states in 1986. Since the restructuring of Assam after independence, communal tensions and violence remain. Separatist groups began forming along ethnic lines, and demands for autonomy and sovereignty grew, resulting in the fragmentation of Assam. In 1961, the government of Assam passed legislation making use of the Assamese language compulsory. It was withdrawn later under pressure from Bengali-speaking people in Kachar. In the 1980s the Brahmaputra Valley saw a six-year Assam agitation triggered by the discovery of a sudden rise in registered voters on electoral rolls. It tried to force the government to identify and deport foreigners illegally migrating from neighboring Bangladesh and to provide constitutional, legislative, administrative and cultural safeguards for the indigenous Assamese majority, which they felt was under threat due to the increase of migration from Bangladesh. The agitation ended after an accord, Assam accord 1985 between its leaders and the union government, which remained unimplemented, causing simmering discontent. The post 1970s experienced the growth of armed separatist groups such as the United Liberation Front of ASOM (ULFA) and the National Democratic Front of Bodoland (NDFB). In November 1990, the government of India deployed the Indian Army, after which low-intensity military conflicts and political homicides have been continuing for more than a decade. In recent times, ethnically based militant groups have grown. Panchayati Raj institutions have been applied in Assam, after agitation of the communities due to the sluggish rate of development and general apathy of successive state governments towards indigenous Assamese communities. Geography A significant geographical aspect of Assam is that it contains three of six physiographic divisions of India, the Northern Himalayas Eastern Hills, the Northern Plains Brahmaputra Plain and Deccan Plateau As the Brahmaputra flows in Assam the climate here is cold and there is rainfall most of the month. Geomorphic studies conclude that the Brahmaputra, the life line of Assam, is an antecedent river older than the Himalayas. The river with steep gorges and rapids in Arunachal Pradesh entering Assam, becomes a braided river at times 10 miles, 16 kilometers wide and with tributaries, creates a flood plain Brahmaputra Valley, 50 to 60 miles, 80 to 100 kilometers wide, 600 miles, 1,000 kilometers long. The hills of Karbi Anglong, North Kachar and those in and close to Guwahati also Kasi Garo Hills now eroded and dissected are originally parts of the South Indian Plateau system. In the south, the Barak originating in the Barail Range Assam Nagaland border flows through the Kachar district with a 25 to 30 miles 40 to 50 kilometers wide valley and enters Bangladesh with the name Surma River. Urban centers include Guwahati, one of the 100 fastest growing cities in the world. Guwahati is the gateway to the northeast India. Silchar, in the Barak Valley the second most populous city in Assam and an important centre of business. Other large cities include Dibrugar, an oil and natural gas industry centre, Jorhat, T, Aduktayan and tourism centre and Tinsukia. <laughs> Climate With the Tropical monsoon rainforest climate. Assam is temperate summer max, at 95 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 to 38 degrees Celsius and winter min, at 43 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit or 6 to 8 degrees Celsius and experiences heavy rainfall and high humidity. The climate is characterized by heavy monsoon downpours reducing summer temperatures and affecting foggy nights and mornings in winters, frequent during the afternoons. Spring March to April and autumn Sept to October are usually pleasant with moderate rainfall and temperature. Assam's agriculture usually depends on the southwest monsoon rains. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Flooding. Every year flooding from the Brahmaputra and other rivers deluges places in Assam. 
The water levels of the rivers rise because of rainfall resulting in the rivers overflowing their banks and engulfing nearby areas. Apart from houses and livestock being washed away by flood water, bridges, railway tracks and roads are also damaged by the calamity, which causes communication breakdown in many places. Fatalities are also caused by the natural disaster in many places of the state. Fauna <inaudible> 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 Assam is one of the richest biodiversity zones in the world and consists of tropical rainforests, deciduous forests, riverine grasslands, bamboo orchards and numerous wetland ecosystems, many are now protected as national parks and reserved forests. Assam has wildlife sanctuaries, the most prominent of which are two UNESCO World Heritage Sites the Kaziranga National Park, on the bank of the Brahmaputra River, and the Manas Wildlife Sanctuary, near the border with Bhutan. The Kaziranga is a refuge for the fast-disappearing Indian one-horned rhinoceros. The state is the last refuge for numerous other endangered and threatened species including the white-winged wood duck or dayahan, Bengal florican, black-breasted parrotbill, red-headed vulture, white-rumped vulture, greater adjutant, Jordan's babbler, rufous-necked hornbill, Bengal tiger, Asian elephant, pygmy hog, gaur, wild water buffalo, Indian hog deer, hulak gibbon, golden langur, capped langur, barasinga, Ganges river dolphin, barka snakehead, Ganges shark, Burmese python, Brahmini river turtle, black pond turtle, Asian forest tortoise, and Assam roofed turtle. Threatened species that are extinct in Assam include the gharial, a critically endangered fish-eating crocodilian, and the pink-headed duck which may be extinct worldwide. For the state bird, the white-winged wood duck, Assam is a globally important area. In addition to the above, there are three other national parks in Assam namely Dibru Saikoa National Park, Namari National Park and the Orang National Park. Assam has conserved the one-horned Indian rhinoceros from near extinction, along with the pygmy hog, tiger and numerous species of birds, and it provides one of the last wild habitats for the Asian elephant. Kaziranga and Manas are both World Heritage Sites. The state contains sal tree forests and forest products, much depleted from earlier times. A land of high rainfall, Assam displays greenery. The Brahmaputra River tributaries and Oxbow Lakes provide the region with hydro geomorphic environment. The state has the largest population of the wild water buffalo in the world. The state has the highest diversity of birds in India with around 820 species. With subspecies, the number is as high as 946. The mammal diversity in the state is around 190 species. Flora Assam is remarkably rich in orchid species and the foxtail orchid is the state flower of Assam. The recently established Kaziranga National Orchid and Biodiversity Park boasts more than 500 of the estimated 1,314 orchid species found in India. Geology. Assam has petroleum, natural gas, coal, limestone and other minor minerals such as magnetic quartzite, kaolin, sulamanites, clay and feldspar. A small quantity of iron ore is available in western districts. Discovered in 1889, all the major petroleum gas reserves are in upper parts. A recent USGS estimate shows 399 million barrels, 63,400,000 cubic meters of oil, 1,178 billion cubic feet, 3.34 times 1,010 cubic meters of gas and 67 million barrels, 10,700,000 cubic meters of natural gas liquids in the Assam Geologic Province. The region is prone to natural disasters like annual floods and frequent mild earthquakes. Strong earthquakes were recorded in 1869, 1897, and 1950. Demographics Population The total population of Assam was 26.66 million with 4.91 million households in 2001. Higher population concentration was recorded in the districts of Kamrup, Nagan, Sonitpur, Barpada, Dubri, Daring, and Kachar. 
Assam's population was estimated at 28.67 million in 2006 and at 30.57 million in 2011 and is expected to reach 34.18 million by 2021 and 35.60 million by 2026. As per the 2011 census, the total population of Assam was 31,169,272. The total population of the state has increased from 26,638,407 to 31,169,272 in the last 10 years with a growth rate of 16.93%. Of the 32 districts, 8 districts registered a rise in the decadal population growth rate. Religious minority dominated districts like Dubri, Golpara, Barpada, Moragon, Nagan, and Hilakandi recorded growth rates ranging from 20% to 24% during the last decade. Eastern Assamese districts, including Savasagar and Jorhat, registered around 9% population growth. These districts do not have any international border. In 2011, the literacy rate in the state was 73.18%. The male literacy rate was 78.81% and the female literacy rate was 67.27%. In 2001, the census had recorded literacy in Assam at 63.3% with male literacy at 71.3% and female at 54.6%. The urbanization rate was recorded at 12.9%. The growth of population in Assam has increased since the middle decades of the 20th century. The population grew from 3.29 million in 1901 to 6.70 million in 1941. It increased to 14.63 million in 1971 and 22.41 million in 1991. The growth in the western and southern districts was high primarily due to the influx of people from East Pakistan, now Bangladesh. The mistrust and clashes between indigenous Assamese people and Bengali Muslims started as early as 1952, but is rooted in anti Bengali sentiments of the 1940s. At least 77 people died and 400,000 people was displaced in the 2012 Assam violence between indigenous Bodos and Bengali Muslims. The People of India project has studied 115 of the ethnic groups in Assam. 79 69% identify themselves regionally, 22 19% locally, and 3 transnationally. The earliest settlers were Austroasiatic speakers, followed by Tibeto-Burman, Indo-Aryan speakers, and thai Kadai speakers. Forty-five languages are spoken by different communities, including three major language families, Austroasiatic Sino-Tibetan and Indo-European Three of the spoken languages do not fall in these families. There is a high degree of bilingualism. Religions According to the 2011 census, 61.47% were Hindus, 34.22% were Muslims. Christian minorities are found among the scheduled tribe population. The scheduled tribe population in Assam is around 13%, of which Bodos account for 40%. Other religions followed include Jainism 0.1%, Buddhism 0.2%, Sikhism 0.1%, and Animism amongst Kamti, Fake, Aiton etc. communities. Many Hindus in Assam are followers of the Ikasarana Dharma sect of Hinduism, which gave rise to Namgar, designed to be simpler places of worship than traditional Hindu temples. Out of 32 districts of Assam, 9 are Muslim majority according to the 2011 census of India. The districts are Dubri, Golpara, Barpada, Moragon, Nagan, Karamganj, Hilakandi, Daring and Bongagaon. Topic: Languages. Assamese and Bodo are the major indigenous and official languages, while Bengali is the official language in the three districts in the Barak Valley where Silheti is the most spoken indigenous language. Bengali is the second most widely spoken language of the state, although a significant portion of those who are recorded speaking Bengali in the census do not actually speak Bengali, but instead speak closely related languages normally treated as dialects of Bengali, like Silheti and Rangpuri. According to the language census of 2011 in Assam, out of a total population of around 31 million, Assamese is spoken by around half that number, 15 million. 
Although the number of speakers is growing, the percentage of Assam's population who have it as a mother tongue has fallen slightly. The various Bengali dialects and closely related languages are spoken by around 9 million people in Assam, and the portion of the population that speaks these languages has grown slightly. Bodo is still the third most spoken language. Traditionally, Assamese was the language of the common folk of mixed origin, Austroasiatic, Tibeto-Burman, Prakrit in the ancient Kamarupa kingdom and in the medieval kingdoms of Kamadapur, Kachari, Chutia, Borahi, Ahom and Koch. Traces of the language are found in many poems by Luipa, Sarahapa, and others, in Charyapada c. 7th-8th century AD. Modern dialects such as Kamrupi and Golperia are remnants of this language. Moreover, Assamese in its traditional form was used by the ethno-cultural groups in the region as lingua franca, which spread during the stronger kingdoms and was required for economic integration. Localized forms of the language still exist in Nagaland and Arunachal Pradesh. The form used in Upper Assam was enriched by the advent of Thai Shans in the 13th century. Linguistically modern Assamese traces its roots to the version developed by the American missionaries based on the local form used near Savasagar district. Assamese is a rich language due to its hybrid nature and unique characteristics of pronunciation and softness. Assamese literature is also one of the richest. The word Dimasa etymologically translates to son of the big river, D water, ma suffix for great, sa sons, the river being the mighty Brahmaputra. The Dimasa word, D, for water forms the root word for many of the major rivers of Assam and the northeast India-like Dikrang which means green river, Dihau which means, fetched water, Dayung, huge river, etc. The Brahmaputra river is known as Dalau, long river, among the Damasas. Many of the towns and cities in Assam and Nagaland derive their names from Dimasa words. For example, Dimapur, a capital of Dimasa Kingdom, Dispur, Hojai, Dafu, and Kaspur, Bodo is an ancient language of Assam. Spatial distribution patterns of the ethno cultural groups, cultural traits, and the phenomenon of naming all the major rivers in the northeast region with Bodo Kachari words, e.g., Dying, Dibru, Dihong, D, Di, Tista, Dakre, etc., reveal that it was the most important language in the ancient times. Bodo is now spoken largely in the western Assam Bodo Territorial Council area. After years of neglect, now Bodo language is getting attention and its literature is developing. Other native languages of Tibeto-Burman origin and related to Bodo Kachari are Diori, Mizing, Karbi, Raba, and Tiwa. Kukish is another native language of Assam belonging to the Tibeto-Burman group. However it does not belong to the Bodo Kachari group. There are approximately 564,000 Nepali speakers spread all over the state forming about 2.12% of Assam's total population according to 2001 census. There are speakers of Thai languages in Assam. A total of six Thai language were spoken in Assam. Two are now extinct. Thai fake Thai Aitone Kamti Kamyang critically endangered Ahom extinct Turing extinct. Topic: Government and politics. Assam has Governor Jagdish Mukhi as the head of the state, the unicameral Assam Legislative Assembly of 126 members, and a government led by the Chief Minister of Assam. The state is divided into five regional divisions. Topic. Local government As of June 2016, the state has 33 administrative districts. On 15 August 2015, five new districts were formed in addition to former 27 districts. The five new districts are Biswanath carved out of Sonitpur, Charadeo of Savasagar, Hojai of Nagan, South Salmara Mankachar of Dubri and West Karbi Anglong of Karbi Anglong. On 27 June 2016, Majuli declared as District First River Island District of India. These districts are further sub-divided into 54 subdivisions or Mahakuma. Every district is administered from a district headquarters with the office of the Deputy Commissioner, District Magistrate, Office of the District Panchayat and usually with a district court. 
The districts are delineated on the basis of the features such as the rivers, hills, forests, etc. and majority of the newly constituted districts are subdivisions of the earlier districts. The local governance system is organized under the Jilla Parishad district panchayat for a district, panchayat for group of or individual rural areas and under the urban local bodies for the towns and cities. There are now 2,489 village panchayats covering 26,247 villages in Assam. The town committee or Nagar Samiti for small towns, municipal board or Poro Soba for medium towns and municipal corporation or Poro Nigam for the cities consist of the urban local bodies. For the revenue purposes, the districts are divided into revenue circles and mouses. For the development projects, the districts are divided into 219 development blocks and for law and order these are divided into 206 police stations or TANA. As on 19 May 2016, BJP under the leadership of Sarbananda Sanawal won the assembly elections, thus forming the first BJP led government in Assam. Guwahati is the largest metropolitan area and urban conglomeration administered under the highest form of urban local body, Guwahati Municipal Corporation in Assam. The corporation administers an area of 216.79 square kilometres. All other urban centres are managed under municipal boards. A list of nine oldest, classified and prominent, and constantly inhabited, recognized urban centers based on the earliest years of formation of the civic bodies, before the Indian independence of 1947 is tabulated below. The state has three autonomous councils. <laughs> NRI issue in Assam Topic. Education Assam schools are run by the Indian government, government of Assam or by private organizations. Medium of instruction is mainly in Assamese, English or Bengali. Most of the schools follow the state's examination board which is called the Secondary Education Board of Assam. Almost all private schools follow the Central Board for Secondary Education CBSE, Indian Certificate of Secondary Education ICSE, and Indian School Certificate ISC syllabuses. Assamese language is the main medium in educational institutions but Bengali language is also taught as a major Indian language. In Guwahati and Digboy, many junior basic school and junior high school are Nepali linguistic and all the teachers are British Gorkha. Nepali is included by Assam State Secondary Board, Assam Higher Secondary Education Council and Gati University in their HSLC, Higher Secondary and Graduation level respectively. In some junior basic and higher secondary schools and colleges, Nepali language speaking British Gorkha teachers and lecturers are appointed. The capital, Dispur, contains institutions of higher education for students of the northeastern region. Cotton College, Guwahati, dates back to the 19th century. Assam has several institutions for tertiary education and research. Universities, colleges and institutions include Universities Assam University Assam Agricultural University, Jorhat Assam Don Bosco University, private Assam Downtown University, private Assam Rajiv Gandhi University of Cooperative Management, ARGUCOM, Savasagar Assam Science and Technology University, Guwahati Assam Women's University, Jorhat Bodoland University, Kakraihar Cotton University Dibrugar University, Dibrugar Gati University, Guwahati Kaziranga University, Jorhat private Krishnaguru Adhyatmak Vishvavidyalaya Krishna Kanta Handik State Open University Kumar Bhaskar Varma Sanskrit and Ancient Studies University Mahapurusha Srimanta Sankaradeva Viswavidyalaya National Law University and Judicial Academy, Assam Royal Global University private Srimanta Sankaradeva University of Health Sciences Tezpur University, Tezpur 
Topic Medical Colleges Assam Medical College in Dibrugarh Fakhruddin Ali Ahmed Medical College, Barpatagati Medical College and Hospital in Guwahati Jorhat Medical College and Hospital, Jorhat Regional Dental College, Guwahati Silchar Medical College and Hospital, Silchar Tezpur Medical College and Hospital, Tezpur Topic Engineering and Technological Colleges Indian Institute of Information Technology, Guwahati National Institute of Technology, Silchar, Assam Engineering College in Guwahati, Assam Science and Technology University Biniswar Brahma Engineering College, Kakraihar Central Institute of Technology, Kakraihar, Garijananda Chowdhury Institute of Management and Technology, Guwahati Garijananda Chowdhury Institute of Management and Technology, Tezpur Indian Institute of Technology in Guwahati, Institute Institute of Engineering and Technology, Dibrugarh University Institute of Science and Technology, Guwahati University Jorhat Institute of Science and Technology, Jorhat Jorhat Engineering College in Jorhat. NETES Institute of Technology and Science Mirza, Barak Valley Engineering College Narala Karamganj Galaghat Engineering College Golagotch Research Institutes present in the state include National Research Center on Pig, ICAR in Guwahati. Economy Assam's economy is based on agriculture and oil. Assam produces more than half of India's tea. The Assam Arakan Basin holds about a quarter of the country's oil reserves, and produces about 12% of its total petroleum. According to the recent estimates, Assam's per capita GDP is 6,157 rupees at constant prices and 10,198 rupees at current prices, almost 40% lower than that in India. According to the recent estimates, per capita income in Assam has reached 6,756 rupees constant prices in 2004-05, which is still much lower than India's. Tea plantations Macroeconomy The economy of Assam today represents a unique juxtaposition of backwardness amidst plenty. Despite its rich natural resources, and supplying of up to 25% of India's petroleum needs, Assam's growth rate has not kept pace with that of India. The difference has increased rapidly since the 1970s. The Indian economy grew at 6% per annum over the period of 1981 to 2000, the growth rate of Assam was only 3.3%. In the sixth plan period, Assam experienced a negative growth rate of 3.78% when India's was positive at 6%. In the post-liberalized era after 1991, the difference widened further. According to recent analysis, Assam's economy is showing signs of improvement. In 2001-02, the economy grew at 1993-94 constant prices at 4.5%, falling to 3.4% in the next financial year. During 2003-04 and 2004-05, the economy grew at 1993-94 constant prices at 5.5% and 5.3% respectively. The advanced estimates placed the growth rate for 2005-06 at above 6%. Assam's GDP in 2004 is estimated at $13 billion in current prices. Sectoral analysis again exhibits a dismal picture. The average annual growth rate of agriculture, which was 2.6% per annum over the 1980s, has fallen to 1.6% in the 1990s. The manufacturing sector showed some improvement in the 1990s with a growth rate of 3.4% per annum than 2.4% in the 1980s. For the past five decades, the tertiary sector has registered the highest growth rates of the other sectors, which even has slowed down in the 1990s than in the 1980s. Employment Unemployment is one of the major problems of Assam which can be attributed to overpopulation, and a faulty education system. Every year, large numbers of students obtain higher academic degrees but because of non-availability of proportional vacancies, most of these students remain unemployed. A number of employers hire over-qualified or efficient, but under-certified, candidates, or candidates with narrowly defined qualifications. 
The problem is exacerbated by the growth in the number of technical institutes in Assam which increases the unemployed community of the state. Many job seekers are eligible for jobs in sectors like railways and oil India but don't get these jobs because of the appointment of candidates from outside of Assam to these posts. The reluctance on the part of the departments concerned to advertise vacancies in vernacular language has also made matters worse for local unemployed youths particularly for the job seekers of grade C and D vacancies. Reduction of the unemployed has been threatened by illegal immigration from Bangladesh. This has increased the workforce without a commensurate increase in jobs. Immigrants compete with local workers for jobs at lower wages, particularly in construction, domestics, rickshaw pullers, and vegetable sellers. The government has been identifying via NRC and deporting illegal immigrants. Continued immigration is exceeding deportation. Topic: <inaudible> Agriculture. In Assam among all the productive sectors, agriculture makes the highest contribution to its domestic sectors, accounting for more than a third of Assam's income and employs 69% of workforce. Assam's biggest contribution to the world is Assam tea. It has its own variety, Camellia sinensis var. Assamica. The state produces rice, rapeseed, mustard seed, jute, potato, sweet potato, banana, papaya, areca nut, sugarcane and turmeric. Assam's agriculture is yet to experience modernization in a real sense. With implications for food security, per capita food grain production has declined in the past five decades. Productivity has increased marginally, but is still low compared to highly productive regions. For instance, the yield of rice staple food of Assam was just 1,531 kg per hectare against India's 1,927 kg per hectare in 2001 which itself is much lower than Egypt's 9283 U.S.'s 7279, South Korea's 6838, Japan's 6635 and China's 6131 kg per hectare in 2001. On the other hand, after having strong domestic demand, and with 1.5 million hectares of inland water bodies, numerous rivers and 165 varieties of fishes, fishing is still in its traditional form and production is not self-sufficient. Flood in Assam greatly affects the farmers and the families dependent on agriculture because of large-scale damage of agricultural fields and crops by flood water. Every year, flooding from the Brahmaputra and other rivers deluges places in Assam. The water levels of the rivers rise because of rainfall resulting in the rivers overflowing their banks and engulfing nearby areas. Apart from houses and livestock being washed away by flood water, bridges, railway tracks and roads are also damaged by the calamity, which causes communication breakdown in many places. Fatalities are also caused by the natural disaster in many places of the state. Topic industry Handlooming and handicraft continue. Assam's proximity to some neighboring countries such as Bangladesh, Nepal and Bhutan, benefits its trade. The major border checkpoints through which border trade flows to Bangladesh from Assam are, Sutarkandi Karamganj, Dubri, Mankachar Dubri, and Golakanj. To facilitate border trade with Bangladesh, border trade centers have been developed at Sutarkandi and Mankachar. It has been proposed in the 11th five-year plan to set up two more border trade center, one at Lado connecting China and other at Daring connecting Bhutan. There are several land custom stations LCS in the state bordering Bangladesh and Bhutan to facilitate border trade. The government of India has identified some thrust areas for industrial development of Assam, although the region in the eastern periphery of India is landlocked and is linked to the mainland by the narrow Siliguri corridor or the Chicken's Neck. Improved transport infrastructure in all the three modes: rail, road and air, and developing urban infrastructure in the cities and towns of Assam are giving a boost to the entire industrial scene. The Lokpriya Gopinath Bordoloi International Airport at Guwahati, although as yet to be fully functional with international flights, was the 12th busiest airport of India in 2012. The cities of Guwahati in the west and Dibrugarh in the east with good rail, road and air connectivity are the two important nerve centers of Assam, to be selected by Asian Development Bank for providing $200 million for improvement of urban infrastructure. Assam is a producer of crude oil and it accounts for about 15% of India's crude output, exploited by the Assam Oil Company Limited, and natural gas in India and is the second place in the world after Titusville in the United States where petroleum was discovered. 
Asia's first successful mechanically drilled oil well was drilled in Makam way back in 1867. Most of the oil fields are located in the eastern Assam region. Assam has four oil refineries in Digboy, Asia's first and world's second refinery, Guwahati, Bongaigaon and Numaligar and with a total capacity of 7 million metric tons, 7.7 .7 million short tons per annum. Asia's first refinery was set up at Digboy and discoverer of Digboy oil field was the Assam Railways and Trading Company Limited AR and Co. Limited, a registered company of London in 1881. One of the biggest public sector oil company of the country Oil India Limited has its plant and headquarters at Duliajan. There are several other industries, including a chemical fertilizer plant at Namroop, petrochemical industries at Namroop and Bongagaon, paper mills at Jagarod, Hindustan Paper Corporation Limited. Township area Panchgram and Jogiopa, sugar mills at Barua Baman Gaon, Chargala, Kampur, cement plant at Bokajan and Badarpur, cosmetics plant of Hindustan Unilever at Doom Duma, etc. Moreover, there are other industries such as jute mill, textile and yarn mills, Assam silk, and silk mills. Many of these industries are facing loss and closure due to lack of infrastructure and improper management practices. Tourism Wildlife, cultural, and historical destinations have attracted visitors. Culture Assamese culture is traditionally a hybrid one developed due to assimilation of ethno-cultural groups of Austric, Tibeto-Burman and Thai origin in the past. Therefore, both local elements or the local elements in Sanskritized forms are distinctly found. The major milestones in evolution of Assamese culture are Assimilation in the Kamarupa kingdom for almost 700 years under the Varmans for 300 years, Salastambas and Palas for each 200 years. Establishment of the Chutia dynasty in the 12th century in eastern Assam and assimilation for next 400 years. Establishment of the Ahom dynasty in the 13th century AD and assimilation for next 600 years. Assimilation in the Koch Kingdom 15th -16th century AD of Western Assam and Kachari Kingdom 12th -18th century AD of Central and Southern Assam. Vaishnava movement led by Srimanta Shankardeva and its contribution and cultural changes. Vaishnava movement, the 15th century religio cultural movement under the leadership of great Srimanta Sankardeva and his disciples, have provided another dimension to Assamese culture. A renewed Hinduization in local forms took place, which was initially greatly supported by the Koch and later by the Ahom kingdoms. The resultant social institutions, such as Namgar and Satra, the Vaishnav monasteries, have become part of Assamese way life. The movement contributed greatly towards language, literature and performing and fine arts. The modern culture was influenced by events in the British and the post-British era. The language was standardized by the American Baptist missionaries such as Nathan Brown, Dr. Miles Bronson and local pundits such as Hemchandra Barua with the form available in the Sibsagar district the ex-nerve center of the Ahom kingdom. Increasing efforts of standardization in the 20th century alienated the localized forms present in different areas and with the less assimilated ethno-cultural groups many source cultures. However, Assamese culture in its hybrid form and nature is one of the richest, still developing and in true sense as a cultural system with subsystems. Many source cultures of Assamese cultural system are still surviving either as subsystems or as sister entities, e.g. the Bodo or Karbi or Mishing. It is important to keep the broader system closer to its roots and at the same time to focus on development of the subsystems. Some of the common and unique cultural traits in the region are people's respect towards areca nut and beetle leaves, symbolic gamosa, arnai, etc., traditional silk garments e.g. Michaela Chador, traditional dress of Assamese women and towards forefathers and elderly. Moreover, great hospitality and bamboo culture are common. <laughs> Symbols Symbolism is an ancient cultural practice in Assam and is still a very important part of Assamese way of life. Various elements are being used to represent beliefs, feelings, pride, identity, etc. 
Tamulpan, Zorai and Gamosa are three important symbolic elements in Assamese culture. Tamulpan the areca nut and beetle leaves or guapan gua from KWA are considered along with the gamosa a typical woven cotton or silk cloth with embroidery as the offers of devotion, respect and friendship. The Tamulpan tradition is an ancient one and is being followed since time immemorial with roots in the Aboriginal Austro-Asiatic culture. Zorai is a traditionally manufactured bell metal article of great respect and is used as a container medium while performing respectful offers. Moreover, symbolically many ethno-cultural groups use specific clothes to portray respect and pride. There were many other symbolic elements and designs, but are now only found in literature, art, sculpture, architecture, etc. or in use today for only religious purposes. The typical designs of Assamese lion, dragon, flying lion Hindi Uta Sher, etc. were used for symbolizing various purposes and occasions. The archaeological sites such as the Maiden Kamdev c. 9th-10th centuries AD exhibits mass-scale use of lions, dragon lions and many other figures of demons to show case power and prosperity. The Vaishnava monasteries and many other architectural sites of late medieval period display the use of lions and dragons for symbolic effects. <laughs> Festivals and traditions There are diversified important traditional festivals in Assam. Bihu is the most important and common and celebrated all over Assam. It is the Assamese New Year celebrated in April of the Gregorian calendar. Durga Puja is another festival celebrated with great enthusiasm. Muslims celebrate two Eids Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha with much eagerness all over Assam. Bihu is a series of three prominent festivals. Primarily a non-religious festival celebrated to mark the seasons and the significant points of a cultivator's life over a yearly cycle. Three Bihas, Ringali or Bohag, celebrated with the coming of spring and the beginning of the sowing season, Kingali or Kati, the barren Bihu when the fields are lush but the barns are empty, and the Bogali or Ma, the thanksgiving when the crops have been harvested and the barns are full. Bihu songs and Bihu dance are associated to Ringali Bihu. The day before the each bihu is known as Aruka. The first day of Ringali bihu is called Goru bihu, the bihu of the cows, when the cows are taken to the nearby rivers or ponds to be bathed with special care. In recent times the form and nature of celebration has changed with the growth of urban centers. Bwaisagu is one of the popular seasonal festivals of the Bodos. Bwaisagu start of the new year or age. Baisagu is a Boro word which originated from the word Baisa which means year or age, ang, a-g-u, that means starting or start. Bushu Dima or simply Bushu is a major harvest festival of the Dimasa people. This festival is celebrated during the end of January. Officially 27 January has been declared as the day of Bushu Dima festival. The Dimasa people celebrate their festival by playing musical instruments krom a type of drum, muri a kind of huge long flute. The people dances to the different tunes called Murithai, and each dance has got its name, the prominent being the Baidima. There are three types of Bushu celebrated among the Damasas Jadap, Soram and Hangsu. Chivangkut is a post-harvesting festival of the Kuki people. The festival is celebrated on the first day of November every year. Hence, this particular day has been officially declared as a restricted holiday by the Assam Govt. In the past, the celebration was primarily important in the religio-cultural sense. The rhythmic movements of the dances in the festival were inspired by animals, agricultural techniques and showed their relationship with ecology. Today, the celebration witnesses the shifting of stages and is revamped to suit new contexts and interpretations. The traditional dances which forms the core of the festival is now performed in the out-of-village settings and are staged in a secular public sphere. In Assam, the Kukis mainly reside in the two autonomous districts of Dima Haseo and Karbi Anglong. Moreover, there are other important traditional festivals being celebrated every year on different occasions at different places. Many of these are celebrated by different ethno-cultural groups sub and sister cultures. Some of these are Other few yearly celebrations are Dol Utsav of Barpata, Brahmaputra Beach Festival, Guwahati, Kaziranga Elephant Festival, Kaziranga and Daeng Putkai Festival, Lekapani, Karbi Youth Festival of Dafu and International Jatinga Festival, Jatinga cannot be forgotten. 
Few yearly melas like Janbil Mela, began in the 15th century by the Ahom kings, Ambabachi Mela, Guwahati etc. Lachit Divas is celebrated to promote the ideals of Lachit Borfukan, the legendary general of Assam's history. Sarbananda Sanawal, the chief minister of Assam took part in the Lachit Divas celebration at the statue of Lachit Borfukan at Brahmaputra riverfront on 24 November 2017. He said, the first countrywide celebration of Lachit Divas would take place in New Delhi followed by state capitals such as Hyderabad, Bangalore and Kolkata in a phased manner. Topic: Music, dance and drama. Performing arts include Ankhya Naat, Ankhya Naat, a traditional Vaishnav dance drama, Bayona, popular since the 15th century AD. It makes use of large masks of gods, goddesses, demons and animals and in between the plays a sutradhar continues to narrate the story. Besides Bihu dance and Huchori performed during the Bohag Bihu, dance forms of tribal minorities such as, Kushan and Ritra of Rajabangshis, Bagurumba and Borduisakla dance of Bodos, Mishing Bihu, Banjar Kakan performed during Chomankan by Karbis, Jumer of tea tribes are some of the major folk dances. Satriya dance related to Vaishnav tradition is a classical form of dance. Moreover, there are several other age-old dance forms such as Barpeta's Bortal Enritya, Diodani Enritya, Ohapali, Bula dance, Ka Shad Inglong Kardam, Nimso Karung, etc. The tradition of modern moving theatres is typical of Assam with immense popularity of many large theatre groups such as Kohinoor, Sankardev, Abahan, Bhagyadevi, Hengal, Brindaban, Itias etc. The indigenous folk music has influenced the growth of a modern idiom, that finds expression in the music of artists like Jyoti Prasad Argawala, Bishnu Prasad Raba, Parvati Prasad Barua, Bupen Hazarika, Pratima Barua Pandi, Anima Choudhury, Luit Kanwar Rudra Barua, Jayanta Hazarika, Kagan Mahanta, Dipali Borthakor, Ganashilpi Dilip Sarma, Sudakshina Sarma among many others. Among the new generation, Zubin Garg, Jitul Sanawal, Angarag Mahanta and Joy Barua. There is an award given in the honor of Bishnu Prasad Raba for achievements in the cultural, music world of Assam by the state government. Cuisine Typically, an Assamese meal consists of many things such as bot rice with dal lentils, masoor jewel fish curry, with mongsho meat curry or xaak and bhaji herbs and vegetables. Rice is one of the main dishes of Assam, and a variety of different rices are grown and eaten in different ways, roasted, grounded, boiled or just soaked. Fish curries made of free-range wild fish as well as borali, roux, ilish, or satal are the most popular. Fowls such as ducks and pigeon are used in dishes while pork by tribals, chicken and mutton dishes are mainly popular among the younger generation. Another favorite combination is luchi fried flatbread, a curry which can be vegetarian or non-vegetarian, and asar pickle. The two main characteristics of a traditional meal in Assam are kar an alkali, named after its main ingredient and the sour dish tenga. Korika is the smoked or fired meat eaten with the meal. The various meats more commonly taken include mutton, fowl, duck, goose, fish, pigeon, beef and pork among Muslim, Christian and tribal communities respectively, these being often involved with religious ceremonies. Other kinds of meat include grasshoppers, locusts, silkworms, snails, eels, wild fowl and other birds, deer meat and so on. Korisa fermented bamboo shoots are used at times to flavor curries while they can also be preserved and made into pickles. Koldal banana flour and squash can be cooked into sabjis. Many tribal households still continue to brew their traditional drinks, variously known as laupani, xaaj, panio, ju, jumai, hor, apong, and so on. During the time of the traditional festivities, guests are offered these drinks. Declining then is considered socially offensive. The food is often served in bell metal dishes and platters like nahi, maihong, and so on. Topic. Literature Most literary works are written in Assamese although other local language such as Boro and Dimasa are also represented. 
In the 19th and 20th century, Assamese and other literature was modernized by authors including Lakshminath Basbaroa, Birinchi Kumar Barua, Hem Barua, Dr. Mamoni Razam Goswami, Babendra Nath Hoikia, Barendra Kumar Bhattacharya, Hiran Bhattacharya, Homan Borguhin, Babananda Dekka, Rabati Mohan Dutta Choudhury, Mahim Bora, Lal Bahadur Chetri, Syed Abdul Malik, Surendranath Medhi, Hiran Gohan etc. Fine arts The archaic Mauryan stupas discovered in and around Golpara district are the earliest examples c. 300 BC to c. 100 AD of ancient art and architectural works. The remains discovered in Deparvadiya archaeological site with a beautiful doorframe in Tezpur are identified as the best examples of art works in ancient Assam with influence of Sarnath school of art of the late Gupta period. Painting is an ancient tradition of Assam. Xuanzang 7th century AD mentions that among the Kamarupa king Bhaskaravarma's gifts to Harshavardhana there were paintings and painted objects, some of which were on Assamese silk. Many of the manuscripts such as Hastavidyarnava a treatise on elephants, the Chitra Bhagavata and in the Gita Govinda from the Middle Ages bear excellent examples of traditional paintings. <laughs> traditional crafts Assam has a rich tradition of crafts, cane and bamboo craft, bell metal and brass craft, silk and cotton weaving, toy and mask making, pottery and terracotta work, wood craft, jewelry making, and musical instruments making have remained as major traditions. Cane and bamboo craft provide the most commonly used utilities in daily life, ranging from household utilities, weaving accessories, fishing accessories, furniture, musical instruments, construction materials, etc. Utilities and symbolic articles such as sorai and bota made from bell metal and brass are found in every Assamese household. Haho and Sarthabari are the most important centers of traditional bell metal and brass crafts. Assam is the home of several types of silks, the most prestigious are, Muga, the natural golden silk, Pat, a creamy bright silver colored silk and Airy, a variety used for manufacturing warm clothes for winter. Apart from Swalkuchi, the center for the traditional silk industry, in almost every parts of the Brahmaputra Valley, rural households produce silk and silk garments with excellent embroidery designs. Moreover, various ethno-cultural groups in Assam make different types of cotton garments with unique embroidery designs and wonderful color combinations. Moreover, Assam possesses unique crafts of toy and mask making mostly concentrated in the Vaishnav monasteries, pottery and terracotta work in western Assam districts and wood craft, iron craft, jewellery, etc. in many places across the region. Media Print media include Assamese dailies Amar Asom, Asomia Kobor, Asomia Pratidin, Dainik Agradut, Dainik Janambumi, Dainik Assam, Gana Adhikar, Janasaran and Niamiya Barda. Asom Bani, Satan and Bhal Kabar are Assamese weekly newspapers. English dailies of Assam include the Assam Tribune, the Sentinel, the Telegraph, the Times of India, the North East Times, Eastern Chronicle and the Hills Times. The Kar, in the Karbi language has the largest circulation of any daily from Karbi Anglong district. Bodosa has the highest circulation of any Bodo daily from BTC. Dainik Jugasanka is a Bengali daily with editions from Dibrugar, Guwahati, Silchar and Kolkata. Dainik Samayak Prasanga, Dainik Prantoyati, Dainik Jandakantha and Nababarta Prasanga are other prominent Bengali dailies published in the Barak Valley towns of Karamganj and Silchar. Hindi dailies include Pravankal Prahari, Prata Kabar and Dainik Pravode. Broadcasting stations of All India Radio have been established in five big cities, Dibrugar, Guwahati, Kakraihar, Silchar and Tezpur. Local news and music are the main priority for that station. Assam has three public service broadcasting service stations at Dibrugar, Guwahati and Silchar. Guwahati is the headquarters of a number of electronic medias like Assam Talks, Dai 365, News Live, News 18 Assam, Northeast, Prague News and Pratidin Time. See also 
Outline of Assam, Comprehensive Topic Guide Listing Articles about Assam List of Districts of Assam <laughs> Notes <laughs>